Hi, my name is Patty Sullivan, and I'm with Parental Rights Florida. And just a quick caveat, um, since it was brought up, the American School Counselors Association, the American Medical Association, the American Pediatrics Association, this is why this board is needed to bring clear evidence-based rules and guidelines and standards. The past president of the American School Counselors Association Shame. in August in 2022 Shame. at a national conference basically said, here in Florida, we have these laws made, and you need to learn the rules so that you can break the rules. So this is why you all are needed, and your expertise is needed to bring these clear evidence-based standards. I spent thousands of hours researching to understand why specific Florida-based and national advocacy groups consistently oppose common sense, family-friendly legislation in Florida. I am a Florida citizen. I'm a Florida mom. <clears throat> the research that I did hours and hours confirmed these non-medical organizations push gender-affirming medical interventions even though real research shows the majority of these children will resolve distress after Bullshit! puberty. Bullshit! Many of these parents with gender dysphoric children are not being presented with this critical information, nor are they being given all the treatment options available to them to treat their child's gender dysphoria, such as watchful waiting and counseling. If what is being forced on these children and these families is so valiant, why are these groups, why were they hiding and lying and deceiving and putting these support guides behind the scenes and keeping parents out of the loop. I have a school psychologist on video telling administrators how not to tell the parents through my research. Why are these groups still pushing irreversible medical transition procedures on children when they know that the research shows that the rate of completed suicide increases to 19 times that of the normal population post transition. Children with dys gender dysphoric issues deal with profound and complex emotional issues. I had issues that resolved from a childhood. The con and I'm married 34 years. The consequences to a child making permanent life-altering decisions, taking drugs that alter their moods and bodies, and then having their genitals and breasts mutilated is beyond comprehension. The Florida Medical Board can put clear, evidence-based rules, guidelines, and standards in place and bring clear consequences for those who would fragrantly break these rules and laws. And the time for courage is now. I commend you and I support you. Please do this and bring pause. Thank you.